Hi, this is Heidi Hobson, Technology Support Teacher with the Waterloo Regional District School Board. Uh, this short video is going to walk you through how to make an interactive image with Google Slides. And why you might want to make an interactive image is to improve and increase the engagement um, of your students as they walk through content um, and as you share and build knowledge. So. Our image today that we're going to use is the Earth's core. And so first we need to find that image. So if we go to tools and we go to research, uh, we can search for images. We can put Earth core. Let's see what comes up. And I happen to like this one, so I'm going to click on it. And when you click on it, you go to that page. So what you would rather do is click and drag and bring it into your slide. And then you can position it where you want it. Let's make it big and we'll just center it a little bit and there we go. Okay, so this is the image that I want to use and right now we are not going to do anything further with this image um, because eventually what we will do is we are going to make clickable sections that we will link to different slides to describe what the Earth's core parts are and their descriptions. So what we need to do now is build our master slide for content. So when we click on, let's say for instance core, it'll go to the next slide where we may have an image again, um, title and content. So this is what we're going to build now. Um, so I'm going to use that image one more time. I'm going to bring it over to this slide. And we'll make it a bit bigger. And move it over and move it down. Awesome. Okay, so title for this one is going to be Inner Core. And then we have some text. Now I happen to have my text already prepared. Um, if you were doing this on uh, as you build it, you would just definitely, you know, create your content here. But I'm just going to cut and paste mine. Okay, so Essentially, we have our title, our content, our image, and some fun facts. Now what we need to do is that in slides, anytime you click on anywhere on the slide, in presentation mode, it's going to go to the next slide. We want to prevent that kind of movement in an interactive slideshow. So what we want to do is control that if they click on the image, it will actually go back to the master image where they can then click a different part. And if they click on anywhere else on the slide, it's going to stay on this slide. So what you need to do is grab all each text box and you'll have to unfortunately do it individually. If you grab two at a time, you cannot link. It's grayed out. So one at a time you'll grab a text box and make sure that when you grab it, you do right now um, if I, I, I'm typing in it, I need to actually have the four quadrant arrow and then I can go to link slides in this presentation and I'm going to link it to slide number three, which is the slide that we're on and apply. I will do that for each of these parts. Sometimes when you do this, you can shortcut it and right click and get link. Again, slides in this presentation. And you'll notice here that I can't find slide three. So if you go to slide two and then um, mouse down, or sorry, use the arrow keys to get down, you can find it and hit apply. Oh, and see how that, what that did is it actually put a link right here and I didn't want to do that. So I'm going to remove that and delete that. So that was incorrect. And that's because I didn't grab the actual text box. I was inside the text box. So now that I'm outside the text box, I should be able to do that, do that again. So if we went to presentation mode and the user clicked on any of the words, it would stay on this space. You'll notice that the image actually has the link to the image on the web. So what we need to do is we need to change this and you can delete it and when you delete that link you can then delete um, excuse me link it to slides in this presentation and this time we are going to link it not to uh, this slide but to the image itself which for us is on slide two and then click apply okay now the other thing I need to do is I need to make sure the entire white background um, is also mapped to this slide. Otherwise, if I click on the white background, it will take me to the next slide. So to do that, you're going to take a shape and I just take the rectangle oops, and map the entire slide. OK, 
Okay, and you'll get this gray box. I'm going to make mine transparent and send it to the back. Then I will link it to this slide. So you can click on all of the areas and see where it's mapped to. Your image is mapped to slide two, which is where we want it. Um, your content, your, excuse me, the text is slide three, text slide three, text slide three, background, anywhere we click on the background, it's also slide three, okay? You can now copy this and it will take all of your formatting into the uh, next slides. So now if I basically control, well, I'm on a Mac, so it'd be control D, or if you do, um, uh, excuse me, control D on Windows and command D on your Mac. So I'm gonna do command D. and it will make other slides here. And I'm gonna do two more because I have uh, outer core and mantle. Then I can go to this image, excuse me, slide four. And you'll see here on the left, I have slide three, four, and five all the same. And I can change this to outer core. And of course my content, I'm just gonna delete because I'm gonna change this for each one. So now I'm going to slide five. I'm gonna do the same thing. This time my title is mantle. If I can spell it, I'm going to change my content. Okay, but what you'll notice is we are on slide five and now the word mantle will be linked to slide five. Okay, the content that will come in here will be linked to slide five. The image is still linked to slide two and the background should also still be linked and is to the slide itself, right? Now we can put in the specific content. So I'm going to go back to my content. I'm going to grab my information. Okay, so we have our three content slides. Currently, if we went into presentation mode and we clicked on this, it would just go to the next slide. But if I go to presentation mode currently, and I'm on slide three, you'll see that if I click on the words or on the background, it's going to stay right here. It's not moving. However, if I click on the image, it's now going to move back to this image itself. So what I need to do now is make this image interactive with the rest of the slideshow. So to do that, what I need to do is create this, break it into parts. Currently, this is linked to the image itself that's found on the web. So I need to remove this link, and now it is just a flat, uh, excuse me, a flat image in my slideshow. And then I'm gonna use the tool um, Polyline, and I'm gonna create shapes. have our interior earth covered we need to go back to the large shape and we need to create um, make sure that these backgrounds are also um, have a shape so that if they are clicked on it will um, keep the user on this slide and not on sorry, and not have it go, go forward to the next slide. So we're gonna make a large shape here. And again, just as we have before, we're gonna make them transparent. And we will do one more on the other side.
Okay, so now we have all of our shapes and now what we need to do is start linking these shapes to where we want them to go. So if we start with the core and we initially uh, bring in the, and you'll notice that on the shortcut I can't link it, so what I need to do is go to insert and link and again slides in this presentation and now I'm going to make sure that it links to slide number three which is my inner core. Apply. Great. I pick my next shape. I link and this time I want it to go to the inner core. And this shape and this shape are actually the uh, mantle so I want those to also go out oh, and I just realized I put this shape to the wrong link so I'm going to change that. This one is not the inner core, it needs to go to the outer core. Okay, there we go and this shape, we're going to give these two shapes the same link because they are both the mantle. Now as we did with our master slide, we are going to link this shape and this shape to the slide itself. Okay, now if we did everything correctly, what we'll find is that when we go to present, our interactive image should link us to the appropriate slide. So if I click on the inner core, it goes to the inner core. And if I click on any of the text, it stays on this slide. However, if I click on the image itself, it will take me back to the main image. If I click on the outer core, it takes me to the outer core slide. If I click on the image, it'll take me back to the master. If I click on the mantle, it now takes me to the mantle slide. And I can click on either side of the mantle, it takes me back. And you'll notice that if I click over here or over here, it does not proceed. And so that's how you would create an interactive slideshow. Thanks for watching.